everybody knows your name. Did you ever expect that, like when you started, that you would have some semblance of uh, recognize, you know, people recognizing you and stuff? You know, it's funny, like with goals and shit, like I set, I set some serious goals back like maybe 10 years ago about what I could envision, what I envisioned for my life, for my future, my vision. And um, when I wrote that down, when I, what I specifically wrote down was I'll be impacting the lives of millions of people throughout the world. And I really didn't know what that would look like. I just wrote it down like this is something that I'm going to do. And, uh, and then I went, I got busy and went to work. So it, it, the funniest thing is that like when I go back and look at the goals that I wrote down for myself 10 years ago, and then I, I literally just like put them down, I put them in a book on a shelf, and I just went to work. I come back 10 years and I look at them, I'm like, oh shit, I should have expected this. I should have known this is what, how it was gonna turn out, except I couldn't have predicted how or through what means that would actually happen. So I have to say, well, I fucking created this, of course. You know, and at the same time, I gotta be like, oh shit, I, I wasn't prepared mentally because I've been so busy doing what I had to do to make that happen that when I picked my head up and looked around, I was like, oh shit, it, this is exactly what I, I, I made happen. So, you know, make your bed and sleep in it. So it's just a matter of, I, I feel like right now. So you just wrote them down, you didn't like write down every step you needed to take or? Man, it's crazy like that. Now I'm not gonna say I just wrote it down and walked away. Like that, you know, it's a bit of an exaggeration. But I visualized it, I, you know, I affirmed it, and I believed it. That was really the thing. Like I wrote it down and I forced myself to believe it. But here's the strange thing about goal achievement. It's that the means by which you originally think the goal will be achieved, just in my experience, is way out in left field compared to where you began back at home. Because 10 years ago, there was no YouTube. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, that's, that's crazy. It's like, well, the goal was achieved, but it was like with technology that didn't even exist. So I couldn't have predicted 10 years ago how it would happen. Imagine like 10 years ago, you know, it was like 2004. I go, YouTube is going to be invented. <laughs> and then I'm going to start making video. No, there was no fucking YouTube. Online video didn't even exist. Did you have like a different conception of what you thought this would be? Like, did you think you'd be on TV or something like that? It's funny because I just made a video about this a couple months ago. And, um, I figured that I would be standing, I, I would visualize myself standing in a stadium talking to a crowd. So, you know, I'd have a polished performance and I'd go and I'd, I'd, I'd give my speech and I, you know, almost like Tony Robbins. And people would be excited about it and so on and so forth. But um, I visualized that without realizing how it would happen. In fact, when things started picking up with regard to my gym and my business that way, the whole idea of standing in, in a stadium with a crowd kind of began fading, but at the same time that began fading, I picked up a, a flip cam and started recording videos. And now it, it's, what has happened is I'm daily in a stadium speaking to tens of thousands of people, except that's the, that's the stadium. It's just weird, right? Of course, it's good to make plans and set goals for yourself. You have to, that's essential, but do not be attached to the how, just be attached to the what. The what and why, I've heard this uh, multiple times from several different people, but successful people choose what they want and why they want it. Those are, those are far more important. What do you want? Well, why? Why is that important to you? If you could answer those two things. What is it? Okay, cool. Now, how are you gonna get there? What is it? No if, ands, or buts, or well, only if, or unfortunately, all the things that are associated with why that can't happen, or what you would need to do to make it happen, you just need to leave, that doesn't even matter. What is it? You know, even if it's asinine, it's crazy. Like, you know, you want, like, you want to be the next Jay-Z. Like, okay, or you want to be Donald Trump, or I don't know, whatever it is that, that you're, that, that's calling your heart, and it just seems crazy. Like, ugh, you really, how? Like, me, there's no way that could happen. Doesn't matter. Throw all that shit out and just commit. Just say, that's what I want. And then the second most important thing is why? Well, why? Because that's your sentiment. That's your, that's the real you. If you say I, why I want it, 
and it's not for the reasons that are important for your soul's development, because all of the reasons for all of our soul's development, the, the, the things for our own soul's development are different. Some people need to make a million dollars in the first year. And it's like, boom, that's exactly what you needed for your soul's development so that you know how to manage a kingdom in that way, so that you can grow that way. You know, but, but if you put that down, and, and that's why it's not a matter of money being right or wrong, but if you put it down and it's like, that's not what your, your soul needs for its development right now, then you're just not gonna have that. So getting in touch with your why goes far more than even what you consider. What you have to really ask yourself is that why should, should be centered around how can, you develop, how can you become the strongest version of yourself and inspire others along the way. That's my, my phrase. So really it's how is this going to contribute to your soul's development? You know, if I would have, I tell you right now, if I would have right off the bat made a million dollars in my first year, I would, I would have been on drugs, I would have had multiple kids, I would have been, I mean, shit would, <laughs> shit would have been bad, because I, was, I wasn't of the mindset, I wasn't mature enough to handle it that way, and maybe that's what my soul needed, but apparently not, you know? I struggled, 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 struggled for a long time, and, uh, and now that I'm mature enough to receive a lot of what comes my way now because of all the sewing, I handle it like a real boss as opposed to a kid who just got a lot of cool shit because he's awesome, you know?